So welcome back in bio students. In this video, we are going to be demonstrating an endospore stain. And if you remember from lecture, some bacteria can produce endospores, a thick outer shell that will help protect them in when the environment becomes harsh or nutrients become less available. In the end of the stain, when you visualize the slide, you should be able to see nice pink vegetative cells with turquoise endospores interspaced throughout. So if you're ready, let's do a stain. Okay, so the first part of completing endospore stain is just like doing a simple stain. First, we're going to heat fix a bacteria to the slide. If you remember correctly, I'm going to heat my loop, let it cool for a short amount of time, singing the coconut song because it's the best, and transferring a small drop of water to the slide. Reflaming the loop, always aseptically transfer. And letting it cool completely before we try and transfer over our bacteria. And it should be ready to go. And as Brendan demonstrated, if you're unsure, you can always touch it to the gel. And if you hear a sizzling sound, it's not quite cool yet, but it should be good to go. And for this particular organism, I'm going to transfer over Bacillus subtilis because I know it's a nice endospore producer. And again, transferring it to the single drop of water and spreading it around on my plate, on my slide. Nice and thin. And then reflaming my loop. And set the slide off to air dry completely. Now I've already prepped a slide and allowed it to air dry, so I'm going to heat fix the organism to the slide. And if you remember, heat fixing adheres the organism to the slide and kills the bacteria. And again, only flick it across a few times. Now I'm going to take my heat fixed slide, and if you'll look off to my left, you'll see a wonderful water tower setup with using super exotic materials. Be careful, it is very, very hot. There is water in the can producing nice steam, because what we're going to do is steam the malachite green, our stain for endospores, into the endospore coat itself. So we're going to take our slide, carefully transfer it to our steam dome, apply a piece of bibulous paper, and flood the slide with malachite green. The bibulous paper should attach to the slide and act as a nice barrier for us. You're going to let your, your slide steam for approximately 10 minutes. You can do slightly less, but I do 10 minutes. It really helps to steam in the malachite green into the endospores. During the steaming process, make sure you keep the bibulous paper moist, otherwise crystals can form and will mess up your slide. Now this slide I've been steaming for about 10 minutes. So I'm going to remove it carefully using my super exotic microbiology tool. And I'm going to gently rinse the slide and the bibulous paper off. Okay. Once the slide is thoroughly rinsed, you're going to apply a counter stain. And the counter stain is a positive stain or a simple stain. In this case, I'm going to use safranin that will stain the vegetative cells remaining in the sample. Just as before, flood your slide, nice and moist, and let it sit for 30 to 60 minutes to stain the vegetative bacteria. Once it is completely ready, You've waited 30 to 60 seconds. Gently rinse your slide again, and let it finish drying. Once the slide is completely dry, you're ready to visualize. And that's it, endospore.